all. Hello. I was just reading a particularly magical tale about Harry Potter from my new autobiography, Size Matters Not. What's that? You'd like to hear one? <laughs> Why, of course. <clears throat> there was one memorable occasion when I got to have a long chat with the older and more established actors. It was during a long night shoot when we had to wait some time between shots. We were outside and I was flattered to see that my chair had been put in a group with Alan Rickman, Maggie Smith and Michael Gambon. The four of us sat in full costume, huddled around a tiny heater, chatting through the night. Michael was a masterful storyteller and told incredible tales with fantastic punchlines, most of which I can't remember. But I've been sworn to secrecy for those that I do. But there was one subject about which both of us were experts. What do you think of these beards? Michael asked. Well, they're a bit of a pain, to be perfectly honest, I said. Yes, they most certainly are. These wisps get absolutely everywhere. If I use my arms and wand, it always gets entangled and I yank the thing right off my face. And don't get me started on food. Dinner is a total nightmare. I nodded in wholehearted agreement. A couple of days later, we were having lunch in full costume when Michael sat down at the table with a large canvas bag. He tied it around his neck and placed his beard inside and then was able to eat his tagliatelle without having to worry about consuming half of his beard at the same time. How did the lucky sod get one of those, I wondered, as I battled with forks, pasta and hair. Michael also loved a joke. After lunch one day, Michael's makeup artist was removing his beard bag before a shot. As she pulled it away, she was amazed to see that Michael had woven a string of prawns, vegetables and other foodie assortments into his beard. What is it? What's wrong? The famous actor said innocently. Your beard? Uh... Oh, these. Well, that's just in case I get a bit peckish later, dear girl. Oh, and how we laughed. If you want to read about more magic just like that, then buy the book.